What's up guys? In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to set up MSI Afterburner so you can monitor your CPU and GPU temps as well as your frame rates while gaming. Now this will work for your desktop and laptop and it's really helpful if you have a laptop because we all know that CPU temps on laptops while gaming get extremely high. Let's jump into it. All right guys, here we are at msi.com. I will have the link to this page in the description below. And right here on the main page, you will see MSI Afterburner, download Afterburner. So go ahead and click on that and your download should start. Once your download is complete, let's go up to the top right of your screen, click on the three little dots, select downloads. There's our MSI Afterburner zip, select show in folder. Now we can exit out of the browser and let's just drag that zip file to the desktop. Exit out. Now we need to extract that file. I use 7-zip to extract my files. If you guys need to download 7-zip, I will have a link in the description below. Once you have 7-zip downloaded, you just want to right click on the zip file, go to 7-zip and extract here. And there we are, we have MSI extracted. Now we no longer need the zip folder, so let's right click delete now let's open this folder and let's go ahead and start the setup now you can't see my screen right now because my user account control came up when this comes up just click yes select your language for me English okay welcome to the MSI afterburner setup wizard next accept the license next Select components to install. Make sure both of these are checked. By default, MSI Afterburner is gonna be checked anyways. Next, your destination folder. So where you want MSI Afterburner installed. For me, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it on my C drive, but if you guys would like to install this on your SSD or external hard drive, wherever, just click on browse and select on your computer wherever you would like to install it. Next. Choose a start menu folder for the MSI Afterburner shortcuts. If you would not like to have a shortcut, then just come down here and click on do not create shortcuts, install. And then you're gonna get this pop up. Once again, select your language. For me, English, okay. Welcome to Reaver Tuner. So now we're gonna install Reaver Tuner. Click next. Once again, we have to agree to the license. I accept. Next. Choose where you would like to install it. I'm also going to install Reaver Tuner on my C drive. Next. Now for the Reaver Tuner, I am going to allow shortcuts. Click install. Now let's open MSI Afterburner and let's click on the little gear icon. And let's go to on screen display. And we're gonna set up some hotkeys for quick, easy access. So for the on-screen display, I'm gonna do F9. For the show on-screen display, we can do F10. And for the hide on-screen display, we can do F11. If you're happy with that, go ahead and click on apply and okay. Now let's go back to the gear icon. Now let's go up to monitoring. Now there are a lot of on-screen displays we can choose to be displayed while we're playing our games, but remember, we are only focusing on GPU temps, CPU temps, and frame rate. Make sure GPU temperature is highlighted, and then you wanna come down to show in on-screen display and apply. And under properties, right beside it, it should say NOSD. Now let's find CPU temperature. There it is, CPU temperature, show in on screen display, apply. And last, let's find frame rate. There it is, frame rate, show in on screen display, and apply. Now anything else you wanna add, you just repeat the same steps I just showed you. Now leaving MSI Afterburner open, let's go ahead and load up a game. Here we are in the game, and if you look at the top right of the screen, you can see our GPU and CPU temps, as well as our frame rate. Now, to get a little more control over this display, we're gonna open the Reaver Tuner. To do that, 
you want to come down to the bottom right of your screen click on this little up arrow and you should see this little icon right here that's your reaver tuner open now if you would like to change the size of the on-screen display you want to come down to on-screen display zoom and just drag this bar over you can make it as large as you want now to reposition the on-screen display you want to come down here to these little arrows if you want to bring it over to the right a little bit you just click this arrow you see it moving if you want to bring it down a little bit you click the down arrow and if you want to move it to another side of the screen completely you just click these edges and it moves it and if you want to add a backdrop like a little transparent background behind it on screen display fill you turn this on you really can't see it in that position but there is kind of a transparent background behind it and there you go guys Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. And also, if you would like to follow me on social media, you can find the links to my accounts in the description below. And also, if you would like to sub to my gaming channel, that's also in the description below. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.